Welcome back, everybody. This is Tom's Wrestling Collection, and of course, I'm Tom. We're going to do a little video today to kind of recap everything I bought the last couple of weeks. Been to Kane County Toy Show, got some stuff from Ringside and Mattel, some stuff from whatnot. So we'll go through all that stuff real quick here. One of the big things that I have been kind of itching for lately is to collect something different. And it was Halloween time, been watching a lot of Halloween movies. I don't know anything about these figures, but it, I think it's NECA. This Michael Myers. Uh, I just thought it was a cool figure, and I thought, what the heck, I'll start a little collection. Hopefully it doesn't explode into something like we've got going on here with all the wrestling, but we'll see. Uh, to go along with that, I bought the, a Michael Myers. It's almost like a, a He-Man or Remco style, almost like a knockoff of the old He-Man way back in the day. It's also got uh, some of the other monsters from the day, Leatherface, Pinhead, Jason, and Freddy. I might collect them all. They're kind of neat. And if they're all going to be like, I bought this for five bucks. It says ten there. The guy was trying to pack up his stuff, so take it for five. Deal. Another thing I was able to do is kind of fill in some, some holes. I've got the majority of the AEW chases, so I found some. Been kind of falling behind recently, so picked up the Claudio. I like that one. The jacket's real nice. We've got the Keith Lee here. Another neat little fig. And then the MJF when he won the Casino Battle Royal uh, in 2022 at All Out. My uh, my daughter and I were at this show, so this one kind of means something to me. I like to pick up all the stuff, or as much stuff as I can from events that we've been to. So I'll pair this up then with uh, the MJF regular figure with the mask. And it'll be a cool little display and something that, that I can look at and reminds me of being there with my daughter, which is awesome. One of the downfalls of the Kane County Toy Show. Little Broski decided to go trick-or-treating. He got an invite from a buddy of his, so he went trick-or-treating in another neighborhood. Which means he wasn't with me, and he knows my collection better than I do. So I found this Brody Lee Chase. Didn't think I had it. I have it. He knew I had it. He knows my collection better than I do. On from there. I also picked up this jumping Jim Bronzel AEW figure. It's in really nice shape with the jacket on. I've, I didn't even have this one as a kid. So this will go in nicely with the rest of the complete AEW figures I have. I don't have a mint on card, just a few of them anyway. Um, but I'm trying to collect the whole set loose and complete. I also started recently a little warrior display, a little collection. And I picked up this warrior elite. This is from really the day before he died, I believe, and uh, just a day or two after he went into the WWE Hall of Fame, and he gave that a really memorable speech on Monday Night Raw. So that's what that's from. The jacket on this is really neat, so I just really dig this figure in general. And it's, you know, I sat and watched that speech, and then, you know, within a day or so he had passed. It was, that was crazy. All right. Now on to... This is Whatnot and the Major Wrestling Figure Pod Group stuff that I picked up here. Captain Joe Shoes, for those of you who know, he does a, a show with Hornswoggle, Dylan Postel, called State of Affairs, and it's great. I love it. And he's got his own Bendem figure, and, or Bendy figure here, and I love it. He signed it, uh, the, the champion of State of Affairs. I'm not even sure what one of these words says. It's a debut champ, maybe? I'm not sure. Captain Joe Shoes, if you happen to be watching this, let me know. Then from there, we got a ton more bendies. Jay and Silent Bob color bendies right here. My first uh, bendies. I think these are the very first bendies that aren't wrestling related. So, But these are pretty neat figures. We'll do an unboxing video of all of these uh, within the coming days. Bought quite a few again, so if you watch the previous Bendy Mania video, we'll have Bendy Mania 2 coming up soon. Bendy Mania 2, Electric Blue, Danhausen, Danhausen with the Moo Moo, Homer Simpson style. I had to have this. I love the Simpsons. I've got the Simpsons arcade game towards the back. My wife has actually started a tiny little Simpsons collection for me, so I think this will go in with that uh, wherever I decide to start displaying those. Then we've got John Cone, referee John Cone. These guys, uh, the major pod guys, the guys who own this line, Brian uh, Brian Myers 
and uh, Matt Cardona and Mike Mike Canick. Love this guy. You know, I, I don't. They're just best friends with him, or good friends with him, I should say, from their time in WWE. So they made one for him. I was able to get it relatively cheap. Francine ECW style figure here, non bloody variant. We got another Jerry Lynn here, ECW non bloody variant. These will go nicely with the Dusty that I got in the ECW version of him. Steph Delander. She's selling this on her whatnot also. It's a nice figure though, really nice. Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog Bendy here. Again, we'll be doing a big unboxing of all of these figs within the next few days, so watch out for that. And then Vladimir the Superfan. If you've seen the documentary on him on the on the Peacock. He's just one of the biggest fans ever. Goes to the Madison Square Garden, the New York shows, whenever possible. Just the, He's famous for being a, a wrestling fan, which is, to me, that's really cool. You know, these guys know him and they love him. So, on from there, we got in the new Seth Rollins Ultimate. So, if you've seen uh, any of my YouTube shorts or anything on any of my other channels, you've seen I've posted this. Pretty neat figure. I love like the Elton John esque uh, wardrobe he's got going there, and it, it seems to be pretty much perfect. You can see the back of it here. Just a, a beautiful figure, beautiful packaging. As you can see behind me, I'm I'm a huge Ultimates fan, so this gets me pretty close to to even again. Found the Chase Vader. In the stores, I needed this. I'm going to unbox the other Chase Vader I got because the belt had fallen out. So I figured I needed a new one. I didn't like that the belt had fallen out and I didn't want to open it to fix it. Chelsea Green autograph figure got from Matt Cardona's whatnot. So this will go up on the, the autograph wall. Pretty happy with that. Chelsea's awesome on WWE right now. I mean, her character work is so great. Couldn't be happier for her. And we've got some big ones over here. Big rubber guys. Nature Boy Ric Flair. Sergeant Slaughter. And Marty Jannetty. I was able to... Marty Jannetty's kind of an older one. I found him at Kane County. Sarge is a, a one of 1,000 from New York City Comic Con. And then Flair. I believe this one was the Wrestling Collector Shop. Uh, exclusive. There weren't a whole lot of these made either. About 500, I believe. So, I love these figures. Absolutely love them. Again, another unboxing coming with these guys. And then, last but not least, I bought this is along with the one that's already up behind me. If you can see the black card, DiBiase and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I thought I got the steal of a lifetime. I bought them for like a hundred bucks from Knick on on his whatnot stream. Those ones right there, the black card. Turns out that they're I think all pretty much the black card and the blue card now is the chase because I can't find the blue chase. Ordered two more, all black cards. So the blue is apparently what I need to find at this point. So if you're watching this, you have the blue card and you want to trade, you want to figure something out, hit me up. I wouldn't mind getting that blue card. All I need is those and uh, the Heart Foundation black cards. And I'm completely back up to date on the, the Ultimate Edition Coliseum collections. So as always, guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell, all of that. I appreciate everybody that watched today. Thank you very much, guys.